Welcome to my channel. This video will be about small craft supplies haul, but it won't be about coloring, it will be more about cross stitching. And mostly I purchased some things which will help me to prepare for Christmas. You know how much I love to do my own homemade Christmas tree decorations, and that's why I need more perforated paper. I really love to use it as a base for various stitched Christmas ornaments. As usual, in the end of the year I will show you all I had prepared, everything I stitched during the whole year for my Christmas tree and my whole collection of homemade Christmas ornaments. Now I have this very helpful package where we have two uh, a4 sheets of cream paper, so I already purchased several nice new charts and I am ready to start new designs. Also, I had purchased another set by Mill Hill. I already stitched several such ornaments in various colors. I think that I had purchased blue, violet, um, red wine, similar tassels, and I also stitched from my own color patterns golden, red, pink with white, so I already have nice collection of similar beaded tassels. But this one, it has a different ornament on the sides, so I decided that I need to purchase this one, then I can learn this pattern and again I, for the next ones I can stitch on this paper similar tassels, but with my own colors. That's why I decided to purchase this one. Oh, that's almost all my other tassels. I enjoy doing them. They are a little bit time consuming, but on the Christmas tree they are so bright, so shiny, they always attract a lot of attention, so I really want to have big collection of them in all colors. And I enjoy doing them. They are very festive. It's really nice to spend a couple of evenings doing such things when you watch probably something interesting on TV and in the end you have such a nice Christmas decoration. I hope that I will do separate video about them, how I stitch this ornament from the kit, how I do my own color patterns, so I will show you everything. The next kit is not for Christmas but more for Halloween. Look at this adorable witch. It's a series. We have three witches. Maybe let me open to show you better other designs, but sorry for the noise. Here. There are also available two other witches, but I decided to start from the first one, maybe later, I will purchase another design. I really love this color combo of bright orange beads and matte uh, grape wine or dark violet beads. So together they will be really nice. Color combo is absolutely perfect and I love this small flying mouse. Sorry guys, as usual, in, at the moment I forgot how to properly call this animal, but the witch, she is adorable. I really love her green hair. Another Christmas ornaments are by dimensions. They are four in this kit. They are stitched on plastic. Colors are perfect for Christmas, all those reds, different greens, wire is also included. So in the end I will have these four very cute cars. I really love that they have this checkered ornament on them. Probably my favorite is this Santa's bus. We have the snowman as a driver, very nice pattern. So, and it's solding North Pole trees. 
very cute but the rest of them are ah, this one also is very cute really nice I love to have such small projects it's also probably for a week or a, like travel project it's much easier to take uh, as a travel project something stitched on the plastic canvas and it really helps me to start feeling Christmas spirit when slowly I prepare start to prepare these Christmas ornaments and I really enjoy doing them the whole year so I don't mind to stitch Christmas ornaments in August in July in September the whole year in such way in the end of the year I have a nice addition to my big collection of homemade Christmas tree decorations another interesting kit which I managed to find was by Design Works. Again, it's stitched on plastic canvas, but this time it's white. Here it was transparent. Look at this medieval angels. And my favorites are this one with lute, this one with harp. I think that I really love their wings. And also this one with a violin. They look like stained glass ornaments and I think that they are, ah, yeah, they are relatively small, it's 3 by 4 inches, so I think that they will be very quick projects. Another variety of travel kit for me. I don't think that I want to do all of them for this Christmas, but a couple of them may be in different color of the dress I definitely will be doing. I think that it's my first kit by Design Works, but they have not bad variety of Christmas ornaments, so if I enjoy doing this one, I will look into other their kits. And finally, I have a couple of kits of felt ornaments by Bucilla. Let me show you what I decided to purchase this year. I tried to purchase something new each year and this year they did really really good kits. They created uh, kits about Christmas in Oz. There are also um, separate Christmas tree ornaments similar to this. Definitely all four characters and probably the castle also, but I decided that I want not the separate ornaments, but Christmas stockings. So I decided to purchase this one. I imagine that it will be a lot of work because they all are very detailed. A lot of different colors of the sequins, of the beads, many details. I'm not sure about these big snowflakes. I will look at their quality when I will open this kit, but the rest is really good. I think that they also have included this interesting snowflake and the kit is huge. You can see how many felt colors are included. I'm not sure if I want to do it this year or maybe it will be my next year project because this year I want to concentrate on finishing my last year. Uh, felt ornaments which I hadn't finished yet so maybe this one will wait I don't know but the second kit I definitely want to start here we have Cinderella and they also have stocking but for Cinderella I decided in favor of uh, uh, separate ornaments here we have the glass slipper kit we have castle, we have Cinderella herself. I hope that you will be able to see details, that it won't be very shiny because of the cellar. Everything is covered with bright gold sequins, so I think that on the Christmas tree they all look very festive. Or maybe I will do a garland from Sam, all dedicated to this fairy tale. I will see, but I think that to stitch all of them will be quite fun. A 
as I said, this year Bucilla did a lot of nice kits, but I tried to limit myself a couple of them. I decided that first I need to finish everything I already have and to do these kits and maybe then I will purchase something new. The good thing is that indeed it will help me to concentrate on the ornaments which I already have. The bad thing is that Bucella quite often, very quickly, uh, they stop to produce their beautiful kits and a lot of kits which I would want to purchase, they are already not available. So it's a difficult thing to decide, do I want to purchase now and to wait to put it on my stash or do I need to wait and purchase later, but with my current purchases I am really happy. I think that they will help me to feel Christmas spirit and they will help me to spend dark November time, dark December time in much more festive spirit. I hope that you also will be interesting, interested to see all my homemade decorations I plan series of such videos for December, so thank you for watching and until the next videos. I really think that doing my own homemade Christmas decorations is a really good thing and it's much more interesting comparing to using something mass produced. Thanks for watching and until the next videos. I am really excited and now I just need to select where to start. Probably I will start from the Halloween design and then I slowly go to the Christmas.